Hey our friends, today we're going to be drawing a tarantula. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to draw a red knee tarantula. Yes. It's going to be awesome. You need something to draw with. We're using markers. Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, let's start. Yes. <laughs> we're first going to start by drawing the body, which I think is called the carapace. I'm going to get all of these <laughs> names super wrong, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Carapace. Carapace. <laughs> and we're going to draw an oval or circle shape in the middle of our paper. So this is the middle part of the body. Then all the legs come out of this, this part. Good. I like your concentration. Yes. <laughs> then we're going to draw some eyes. They have a lot of eyes. We're just going to draw two that are really <laughs> small. <laughs> Right towards the top in the middle. <laughs> now we're going to draw the mouth. We're going to draw a upside down U shape over here and also over here on the side. And we should draw them the same size. I drew the left side a little smaller. Now we're going to come down here and draw the abdomen. We're going to draw a big oval shape. It's going to come out like this around and then towards the top. Look at this. We kind of come back in. Almost looks like a teardrop shape without the point at the top. Oh, I like how big you're drawing it. Good. Then we're going to draw two little spinnerets down here. This is where the webs come out of. Yes. Yes. I like how awesome he looks right now. He's going to be super realistic, hopefully, <laughs> at the like end. He's like a little feet <laughs> yeah. and then body and then face and then <laughs> Kind of looks mouth. like a funny cartoon. We're going to make them look cooler. Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw. Now, they have eight legs, but they also have two little extra guys up towards the head. Yeah, the mouth. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These little things, uh, they look like legs, but they're shorter. They're called pedipalps. I think they're that's like what hands. they're called. Yeah, they're kind of like hands. But they're used <laughs> for sensory. I think they use it to kind of fill stuff around. So let's draw. We're going to draw an S curve that comes... One direction and then back the other direction. And let's go ahead and keep going. We'll go a little further. Then we're going to curve back around and then follow that same line that we drew first back into the head. Now we're going to draw that same shape on the other side. We'll draw an S line, comes out, and then back around. We're going to draw our tarantula symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. Then we're going to curve back around, follow the shape, the line, back into the main part of the body. Now we're going to divide these appendages up into segments. We're going to first draw a line across, or a curve that comes across. We can also, let's add another little one down here, closer to the body. Then we're going to draw two more. I'm going to curve them the other direction, because the leg is bent, or the pedipalp is bent the other way. So we'll do the same thing over here on the left side. Two curved like a regular U and then two curved upside down. Now let's start drawing the legs. We're going to draw a lot of the same steps that we did for the these first two. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and we're going to be right next to the first pedipalp. That's a fun word to say. Pedipalp. Yeah. We're going to come up like this almost to the same height Then we're going to do a short line across or out. Then we're going to follow the first line back into the main body. Okay, now let's add that first little joint down here at the bottom. The first part of this leg is actually called the femur, this first segment. This next segment is called the patella. And we're going to draw an upside down U shape comes out of that little joint. Yeah, then we're going to draw another one that's called the tibia. And then the next one is called the, the metatarsus. <laughs> metatarsus. <laughs> it's just going to be another upside down U shape. And then the last one is called the tarsus. And we're going to do one last one like that. So there's the main segment, which is called the femur, and then we have four more after that. Now we're going to repeat those same steps for all of the legs. So we're going to go a little faster on each leg. 
But let's draw the next one. It's This one is right next to this one. We're gonna come up, curve out like this, the short line down, and then curve back into the body. Then we'll draw that little segment down close to the body. Good. Now let's draw the four more segments that come down. You know, watch this. This third one I'm gonna draw is gonna curve down. And then the fourth one, I'm gonna curve back out. Is that cool? There it adds, foot. yeah, it adds like more shape to that leg or a different shape than the first one. Now let's do the third leg. This one, we're gonna draw shorter. Let's just draw it coming out, back in, and we'll draw it short. So maybe this one is aimed closer to us. Then I'm gonna draw the four more segments and I'm gonna draw them coming down. Diagonal, one, two, three, and then the last one maybe you can aim out kind of like this one over here. Now we only need one more leg on the right side. So we're gonna draw it down here. We're gonna draw the femur part. I'm gonna draw it long, go back into the body. Oh, I forgot the segment over here too. Did you forget it? Yes. Okay, add that segment on the third one, also the fourth one. Then we're gonna draw these four segments. This one, this time, we're gonna draw these really long. We want these four to come down past the abdomen. Wow, I, I should have even drawn it even longer, but that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yes. So maybe this one is up higher. This one over here, I'm gonna draw down even longer. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing four legs on the right side. We have four more legs on the other side, right? Yes. Yeah. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home or in your classroom can pause the video and take extra time to draw four more legs on the left side of your tarantula. You ready yes. to fast forward? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our tarantulas. Yours turned out so cool. Now we still have one more step to do. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same color. We'll also talk about some of the techniques that we did in coloring our drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now we've colored our tarantulas with our markers. We've used black and we colored it in solid. And we also went around on the knees and added that orange kind of reddish color. Now Jack is using a light gray to add a shadow underneath the tarantula to make him look even more 3D, like he's standing on our paper. Yes. Looks like he's popping right out of the paper. <laughs> then I'm gonna go back over the spider with my white colored pencil to add little hairs on each of the different segments of the leg. So we just go back over with the white colored pencil with a little jagged line like that. We're also gonna add some more texture to the body and we'll be done. Don't forget to also add these little hairs on their back. Oh my gosh, she's looking really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna make yours Tarantula looks super, super hairy. <laughs> Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our tarantulas and they turned out super awesome. You think they look so much better colored in? For sure. Yeah, they look really awesome. What was your favorite part? The hairy back. <laughs> it looks really uh, fuzzy. <laughs> in a gross way. Yeah. Now it was really easy to color our tarantulas. We just used a few supplies. We used our black. We also used a red orange color for the knees. We used a light tan color for the body and also the mouth. We used a gray, a really light gray for the shadow. Then we used our white and black colored pencil to go over the markers to add even more hairy texture. Yes. To make it look even creepier. We used the white to add the little white hairs on the back. We also used it on the legs for the different segments. And then we used a super sharp black colored pencil to add the teeny little hairs on each leg. 
We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your tarantulas. Yeah, I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours. Both of our drawings look different. They yes. don't look the same, but they both turned out really cool. Remember, the most important thing is... To have fun. Have fun and to... Practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.